Pantry. So today I get to do an inspired recipe. This was inspired by my daughter-in-law who texted me today and said, I made the most delicious chicken breast with your onion jam. And she did a stuffed chicken breast with the onion jam and feta cheese and wrapped them in bacon. And I said, I'm doing it. So I stopped and got some chicken breast and we're gonna have this for dinner on the Big Green Egg. So if it inspires you to stay with me, I hope you do because a lot of you have made my sweet onion jam and have uh, sent me messages saying how much you loved it. And uh, they also have sent me messages saying, what do I use it in? So this gives you another idea, not just for hors d'oeuvres or for a meatloaf, but this makes a delicious chicken. It was so delicious. So I hope you stay and see how I did it, how easy it was and how, uh, what an impressive presentation for guests. So that being said, let's go get to making these chicken breasts. Go down in the about section and check out all the links that I've left for you, come on. I am excited that you stayed along for this because this is gonna be delicious. And um, as I said, this recipe was inspired by my beautiful daughter-in-law. And as soon as she texted me and said, this is what she did, I said, I am stopping at the store and getting whatever I need. And really all I needed was some fresh chicken breast, um, boneless, skinless, uh, the rest of the stuff I already had. So I had some applewood smoked bacon, nitrate free, I've got my salt and pepper, my sweet onion jam. So this gives you another idea. I know a lot of you have made my sweet onion jam. This gives you another way to use it. So go ahead and open that jar. And <clears throat> I made this batch a little bit thicker, not much, but a little bit thicker. I added some, uh, Clear gel, not sure gel, but clear gel. And it's a shelf stable thickener. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is we are going to butterfly these chicken breasts because they're real thick on one end here. And she said she just butterflied them like a book and opened it up. So you're gonna get in there just like that. Don't go through. The other side, you want a definite pocket uh, that you can stuff full of good stuff. And where you can open this up, just like that. So now that you've got it all open, pound that out and show you how I stuff it. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually gonna be happier with this. It's a more even cooking surface. You're just gonna put some saran over top or, or a thick Ziploc bag and take out all your day's aggressions on this poor defenseless chicken breast. So I've got it pretty even all the way across. You peel off your saran, and that's just to keep it from splattering and um, carrying on across your kitchen. And I rinsed and dried these, patted them dry. So what she did was she, and I'm so excited, I'm so thankful that she gave me this because I've been wondering what I could do that was different for dinner this week that I hadn't done. And so I'm happy to try her recipe. And what I'm gonna do is spoon out what I think and spread that out with a spatula. So a lot of you asked me what else do you use this for? This will be another test recipe for us to see. All right, so get that all on top, and then you're gonna take some feta cheese. How delicious, and all that feta will be used. That was a, I believe a three or four ounce package. Um, so I'm not gonna contaminate anything else with it. It's all going in the chicken. There you go. And then she rolled it up and put the icing on the cake and wrapped it in bacon. Can you believe that? So we're gonna get out a couple pieces of bacon and I want a couple toothpicks. So I'm gonna grab those just in case I need them. Oh, more feta. Feta's got that little sharp bite and goat cheese would be good I think with this. I mean, I usually can picture a recipe when I hear the ingredients. And I'm just going to roll this up, just like a burrito. And then we're gonna wrap it in bacon. 
No. Nothing wrong with that. So we'll take and wrap this up in some bacon. And I've got a toothpick standing by, so toothpicks will become very handy. And I'm just going to go ahead and go right through the uh, other side of that chicken and through the bacon. And so we're going to have a couple toothpicks in here. I have to remember to take those out. And then I, want one I decided to lay down my bacon first and then do my chicken breast and pound it out. And then I don't have to struggle with getting that bacon underneath there. It's already there. Take that off. Get some of that onion jam down. And spread that out. Oh, that onion jam smells so good. You can smell that balsamic vinegar and I don't know about you, but I love balsamic vinegar, if it's a good one. There are some really funky ones out there, so healthy amount of that feta cheese, because now we only have like one more to go. So a little container is perfect for that. Then fold this over, and sometimes you'll your breast will split apart, and that's okay, because your bacon's going to put it back together. And so I kind of did the bacon at an angle, so I can come in here like that, overlap, and overlap, overlap, and then it, it actually wraps that chicken breast up pretty neat and tidy. I don't even think this one needs toothpicks. So that's how we're going to wrap the last one as well, and then we'll be good Don't to those go. look beautiful? So these four chicken breasts are stuffed. This is enough for eight people easily if not more. You could actually, I'm going to uh, cut these up a different way that you could use it for even more people as a main dish. So this is another holiday alternative and I wasn't even expecting to do this. So I hope that you guys check out my onion jam video. It's sweet onion jam and it's delicious. It's easy to make. A little time consuming, but make a bunch and then you're out of the way, just like tamales. And these are going to be fantastic. So the method that I used over the bacon and pounding it out like that really, really worked for wrapping them up. We're going to go light up the Bing Green Egg, leave these out at room temperature so they come up to temp so we're not putting ice cold chicken on a hot, hot grill. Actually, it's going to be, I'm going to get it up to 350. And it's getting dark, so I don't know how much footage I can get outside, but we'll try. All right, grill then. is coming up to temperature. I've got my center plate feet side up, so it'll deflect some of this heat. And because I have it open, Oh, can you, can you see my breath? I should have put a coat on. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I've got that center plate up to beat side up. We're going to get this chicken on. I want to get some smoke on it in the very beginning, and I'm really low on smoking chips. So I thought, well, I'll put it on when it's a little lower temperature, and then we'll go from there. Um, not to worry, it will come up. It's a, at about 300 right now. But I want, a, I want a nice smoky flavor to this. Now, my daughter-in-law did not do that, but um, nonetheless, it's okay. I'm doing it. So let's, and now I can't touch anything. So we're going to come down with the lid, and I'll bring you back when I have a coat on. <laughs> it's like I'm smoking. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see this. I do have my jacket on now. But they look fantastic. They're not quite up to temperature. And so what I'm going to do, they've been rocking and rolling between 325 and 350, about 350 for about 40 minutes. I'm going to open the bottom vent, which has only been open like this far. And I'm going to open my top daisy wheel a little further. I've had it closed over the top, but only half of the eyes open. If you have one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to open that completely eyes open, daisy wheel, or and the vent down here. Give it three inches. 
I want to get it up to close to 400 degrees, crisp up that bacon, finish this off, and then we're going to let them rest. It's going to be fantastic. And I know you guys know slice this. these. Now, you could serve these whole or in half or, you know, you could get all fancy, but we're going to slice these. So the presentation is going to be really pretty. Oh, look at that beautiful white meat chicken, breast meat. And um, you're just going to slice into that. It's so juicy. Oh. And these little medallions have that stuffing in there of uh, the feta cheese and the onion jam. And it smells fantastic. So let me put my plate together for my husband and then I'll show you So guys, you how I I've it. cut this chicken breast up into about half inch slices and I've got this alongside a salad, simple salad with Italian, basically uh, pomegranate red wine, vinegar and olive oil. And then I have some beautiful slow simmered in my home canned chicken stock. Uh, I simmered these green beans and home canned bacon bits with a couple of potatoes at the last 20 minutes and then but the star of the show is this chicken breast and so isn't that gorgeous oh it's so pretty these bacon wrapped chicken breast they just absolutely smell fantastic with that smoky flavor on them a little bit of a little bit of the onion jam we are good to go so Let's get a bite of that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So tender. And juicy. I can't even tell you how juicy those are. Absolutely fantastic. That sweet onion jam is just a, a player in the whole lineup. And the bacon, the smoky flavor from the big green egg, and the feta cheese is fantastic. So I hope it inspires you to go ahead, listen to your daughter-in-law, because she can really come up with some good recipes. And um, as always, don't be afraid to try something new. Step outside the box, and um, I hope I see you next time, because this was fantastic. Thank you so much, Andrea. I love you.